Hello everyone, I'm Darren, a Hyrox athlete and coach. I've competed in multiple Hyrox locally and overseas across different categories, including racing at the recent World Championships in Nice, France. This channel is dedicated to high rocks racing, tips and tricks and what I learned from coaching individuals. In today's episode, I will discuss three techniques for slap push and importantly share with you what I've observed and tried to be the most efficient way of moving the weight. The slap push is the second station and probably not more than 20 minutes into the race. Therefore, most athletes are still feeling fresh and will attempt to clear the station as fast as they can, building too much lactate as a result and skyrocketing their heart rate during the push eventually compromising the rest of the race, which is not ideal. Thus, it is important to pace and learn how to separate the four laps or 50 meters into bits and pieces, as most elites also pause during the, uh, the push to catch their breath and shake out the lactic exit. So learning from the best, I too split each lap into half and catch my breath before carrying on. After adopting this technique, I feel much better leading into the third run, maintaining similar pace as the first two runs. Also, I feel that one of the greatest pitfalls is taking too long a break after each lap at the line, so it's good to remind yourself to move once you feel good. Moving on, let me show you three different techniques. Last year, I adopted a fully extended arm method. It did not give me the best time and in addition, my legs and core were fried leading to the run. My pace then dropped tremendously. So after the race, I told myself to adopt other methods and found the best one that most elites were also using. Now I used this method in knees as well. The slats were about three times my body weight, but with this technique, I was still able to move them. Thus bringing it back to the recent race. Though the weight still felt heavy, I wasn't guessing out like last year. I was even able to joke and have small talks with my supporters. Though it was a bad idea as it took away precious seconds. I hope you learned something today and that it's time to start practicing these methods. Oh yeah. Lastly, if you stay until this moment, I will share the final tip with you. Always lean or tip yourself forcefully into the slats to kickstart the station. It will hurt at first, but with some training and toughening of the skin, everything will be fine. That's all for today. Cheers, till next time.